<laughs> no time like the present. A little Peter Puck on my head, so I got hockey on the brain. So this is going to be the first time I'm trying this song. I actually had lost this song. I wrote it a while back, but then while cleaning out my sock drawer, I found it at the bottom of the sock drawer. So well, something like this. And if anybody uh, knows the old uh, Arkansas uh, Traveler by uh, the Weavers, Lee Hayes put in a little story. You might see a, a little bit of a coincidence in this story here. <laughs> Kids cuddled together, I thought I heard one of them say, Got em, got em, need em, got em, trade you these three cards for that one over in the corner of the old school yard. Thought I saw kids hanging out trading hockey cards. Remember meeting my friend beside the corner store, and after we'd all buy some, I'd try to trade the doubles off. Notching my teeth on the gun Before the bell you find us in the hall Flipping cards up against the wall A lot of cards were on the line I had to make mine A leader would take it all Got em, got em, need em, got em Trade you these three cards For that one over in the corner of the old song yard We used to be kids hanging out trading hockey cards Paper room till I had me the whole set. I used to own the great ones, rookie card. I had the kid and the golden jet. The flirt, the nerd, boom boom, the hammer, or and even how. And I wish my mom would never threw them out. I hear they're worth a lot of money now. Got them, got them, need them, got them. Trade to these three cards for that one over in the corner of the old school yard. We used to be kids. Something I almost forgot. It's a true story that I made up. See, I found a job working way up north. I'm talking way up north, where if you went any further north, you'd be heading south. And I got to work in a local hockey rink. And yes, I got to drive the Zamboni. It was a job come true. I'd be whipping down the rink, going around the corners at 17.5 kilometers an hour. The smile literally froze into my face because they kept it so cold in that rain. Little footnote on the Zamboni, by the way, folks. Did you know that Zamboni was invented by Frank Zamboni in 1946? And he lived in California. But back to our regular schedule program here. So when it was finally payday, I was so happy. I hosted my envelope above my head like it was a Stanley Cup. And when I tore it open, I was hoping to find maybe a hefty check or a big wad of cash, but I found neither. Instead it contained a card, and no, it wasn't a credit card, nor a gift card, but I had a hockey card in there. Mind you, it wasn't just any hockey card, it was a vintage Morris the Rocket Richard hockey card, in mint condition. It had statistics on the back, had a picture of him glaring at you with his wild eyes on the front. And his hair was slicked back oh so perfectly. Hey, Maurice, two minutes for looking so good. But now when I got through admiring that card, I was pretty upset. I felt like I was Burroughs getting harassed by one of the referees. So I called up my boss. I'm telling you, if he was standing in front of me and I had a stick in my hand, I might have unsorted him or bertuzied him from behind. Instead, I gave him a tongue lashing over the phone that would make even Sean Avery blush. When he finally got a word in edgewise, he said, I don't know why you're so upset. We paid you rather well. Paid me rather well, I said. You paid me with a hockey card. He said, ah, but that's not just any hockey card. That's a vintage Morris and Rocket Richard hockey card. In mint condition. And besides, hockey cards is what we use for currency around these here parts. And he hung up. Now I didn't know what to do. I decided I'd go down to the local tavern and drown my sorrows and catch the game. Went in there and ordered their 
hardest drink, something that they like to call the slap shot. I figured, what the hell, I'll make it a hat trick in order three. I drank those down, and it was time to pay. I slapped that vintage Morrison Rock and Richard hockey card in mint condition on the bar. And the bartender looked at me like he wanted to drop the gloves. a little bit closer in his general direction and waited. Well, he looked back at me, he looked down at the card, and I'll be damned when he took that card and he went off into a back room. Now I was getting as nervous as a zealous fan in the seventh game of the Stanley Cup Finals when it was overtime. Because I figured maybe he was in that back room calling the authorities on me. So I was going to have to spend time in the box and feel the shame. But instead, he came out of that back room. He had a whole armload of cards consisting of the California Golden Seals, the Winnipeg Jets, and the Cleveland Barons, and said, sorry for all the small change. Pokemon cards. Looks like I traded in them old hockey 